riddle me this, Batman. How does a heat wave fake you out? Like, no one's like, oh no, a surprising heat wave. Ah! I mean, it's supposed to be like warmish this weekend, right? Not when this, not this weekend beforehand. Like oh. This weekend, a cold wave's coming right. through. That definitely could fake right. me out. So, like, we're expecting it to be like kind of cold. It's been like kind of cold recently. So, like, what is it today? Tomorrow supposed to be like nice-ish. Yeah, like tomorrow's supposed to be eighty. I don't think anybody's yeah. like, oh, 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 the eighty degrees caught me totally off guard. Ah. No, AJ I think would call it VFX. I totally think it would. No. Like, I totally feel that way. I totally feel like tomorrow. Now that I've said this out loud, maybe I won't, but I feel like tomorrow I probably would have showed up in like a hoodie and then I would have left and been like, the amazing thing is you can just off the hoodie cold wave. I believe that a cold wave could fake you out. You're like, Oh, it was so nice yesterday in Utah. I totally trust the weather and it's definitely not going to be schizophrenic. And you walk outside and it's like, like, Oh, it's so cold. I hate it all the time. Yeah. Constantly. Yes. Okay. Glad we cleared that up. (laughs) Integra financial services, Florida, not on VFX aqua tech car wash up for grabs. If we catch the criminal from Florida, three headlines, please. Okay. Headline number one, some lady got arrested after she assaulted someone with pool balls, that ha- a cue stick, a cookie sheet, and a DVD player. <laughs> what, is, what is this? WrestleMania? She's pulling stuff out? Yeah. I mean, those cue balls, like when you said pool balls to begin with, the billiard balls, I was like, well, you, you get some oomph on those. Those suckers. Thwonk. Whew. They thwonk hard. And I, I think you could get some, you should get some solid oomph with a, a, a pool stick. Not that those other things wouldn't hurt, but they're just two of these things don't fit the other two. Oh, make yeah. It. Don't worry. Where's a cookie sheet, a DVD player, a pool table, or a pool, pool cue, and a, a billiard ball found? <laughs> a bar. So then we've got story number two. Some lady got so mad about the thickness of a tomato on her Whopper. Oh, shit. So she started throwing meat and dropping racial slurs. How oh, dare you? Oh, my God. Just take it Woman. off. Just Woman. take the tomato off. Now we know that we have uh, reached a level of entitlement. I didn't know that we'd get to. Good Lord. And story number three, a guy was driving, swerved to avoid a cat in the road. Drove on top him. of a parked car in the process. Whoops. Was there anybody in the parked car? I don't think so. Well, you know what the scoreboard says in that? One life saved, no life's lost. This is a very uh, crooked car. I'm surprised that it did not. I think his Hashtag. good karma. <laughs> I think his good karma kept his car not on its side. Oh, thank goodness. Hashtag. It looks like this. <laughs> Hashtag Park Narks. Park Narks. Mega Park Narks. This guy is stuck. Look, we can come back to this, but I feel like I should get a pool table solely for the question of right, quickly grab whatever's to your left or right. That's what you have to defend your home with. A pool stick and the pool balls give me some good options. Yeah, you can do some damage with those things. I'm saying. AJ and McCall for the Integra Financial Services Florida, not on VFX. John, just out of curiosity. We deal with these crazy stories all the time. One, two, or three, what was your initial reaction? Which one do you think is from Flora? I was thinking uh, story number one at first. Okay, story number one. So let's listen to that one closely and double check. McCall, three full stories, please. Okay, story number one. Some lady got arrested after she assaulted someone with pool balls, cue stick, cookie sheets, and a DVD player. Now, I'm not sure where she was. Oh, I mean, you said earlier a bar. I was like, oh, I mean, I guess the cookie sheet threw me for a little bit. But yeah, I, I can buy the other three. So this woman is uh, 18 years old. Oh, dang. She was obviously um, in the Kool-Aid house. It had all the good stuff. Cookie sheet, yeah. pool table. DVD player, DVD player. obviously. Yeah. That's top priority because <laughs> nobody uses streaming services right now. So I, I guess that she, oh, she threatened them with a rifle and a knife. So Why didn't you grab those first? Well, what, do you have to warm up to it? <laughs> I don't know. She, quote unquote, caused moderate damage to the victim's property. So she was at someone else's house. Oh, okay. So it was I all of their everything. stuff. I take back everything I said. She's facing charges no, of... not the DVD player. <laughs> <laughs> How dare you? She, they're only $10 at Walmart. Oh, no. She's facing charges of terroristic threats, recklessly endangering another person. Simple assault. Criminal mischief and harassment. That first one sounds not great. Yeah, Put no. Put the T word on there. But like, yeah, boy. that's very bad. Then we got story number two. 77-year-old lady got upset last week over the thickness of the tomato slices on her Whopper at Burger King. So what do you do? You don't say, excuse me, can I have a new tomato? You say, apparently, inappropriate racial slurs at employees, and then you throw the meat at them. Exactly. Yeah. I just... Or, 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 crazy idea. Totally crazy. Talking to you, producer butters. Just take it off. Just take it off. 
Like tomato, it's pff, done. You don't want a tomato? Solved. No, but she wanted the tomato. That was the problem. Then cut it up or bite it in pieces. She, no. You an adult. Get a knife. Get a fork from up at the little stand. Yeah. Chop it up. Good so, to go. So, um, yeah, she's now facing felony battery charges. I Could you even imagine, that. oh, hey, you got battery after you threw a whopper at people. <laughs> Why are you here? A tomato. A tomato. Toma- I know. Tomatoes just set me off too. And then story number three, some guy who was driving avoided uh, hitting a cat that was in the road. He swerved. He drove on top of the car in the process. And uh, I'm really impressed with this handstand dance it's doing. Look, hashtag Park Knox, hashtag safe lives. He did that. Yeah. So, John, the question would be now after saying initially you thought, all right, story number one, what are you feeling now? Kind of torn between one and two now. Okay, I could buy that because at the three, the guy, you know, it, it's, it's hard for me to say, yeah, that's the Florida not idiot because, yeah, he kind of did something stupid, but he, he did it to save a life. So I'm with you on one and two. The food one always gets me when the people freak out in the restaurants because it's not always Florida, but it's been Florida a fair amount of times. And then I don't know what to make out of the the, the, the terrorist assault with billboards, with uh, billiards and, and cookie sheets. But, uh, I mean, I think you go either way. Your initial gut was one. I'm kind of thinking two because I feel like we've had a lot of fast food ones that have happened in Florida. Yeah, I think I'll go with two. Okay, two it is then, McCall. Is it story number two? It is. Congratulations. Woo! Uh, we've got you hooked up with an Aquatech car wash. Hang on the line. We'll grab some info from you. Awesome. Where was uh, the terrorist attack? Pennsylvania. Pennsylvania? I don't know why, but apparently pool sticks, cue balls. Cookie sheets and DVD cookie players. Cookie sheets, DVD players. Zombie and survival guide right there. That's, that's all you need. Actually. Raise- I'm going to put it in my backpack. <laughs> all of them. All of them. Right now. I need a, <laughs> I need one of those like collapsible pool sticks. 